it's Lee from ColouringQueen.net and thanks for joining me for a review of the Black Widow colour pencils. Now I've had these pencils for years and I've done videos that feature them before but never reviewed the whole of the collection like I am today. So if you've already seen things and you want to jump ahead in the video, just uh, go to the chapter links below the video and you can skip ahead to the section that might interest you. So if you're interested in using these pencils on digital colouring pages that you've printed out, I've reviewed previously the different types of paper that work well with these pencils and the link for that is below. And if you're also interested in which type of sharpener is best with this pencil or which type of blender, the links to that video are below the video. So let's get to it. The first set of pencils in this series is the Black Widow pencils. They came out first, followed by the Scorpion, the Cobra, then the Skin Tone Light and Dark sets, and then finally the Monarch set of pencils, all up making 144 pencils. Now, if you buy these individually, you might pay a reasonable price for each set but make sure you bear in mind how much the entire set so far of 144 pencils costs you because you may actually in fact be better off buying another brand depending on what sort of pricing that you can get. Now these pencils are lovely and soft and creamy but not quite as soft as my Prismacolors. They've got a real firmness to them that makes them very enjoyable to colour with. They've also got some really nice colours in them that you'll see in the swatch later on. These were uh, created by an Australian man that works for MediHealth and they were created with mental illness in mind so they're specifically created, if you like, for adult colouring and art therapy and anxiety and issues that many people have that are in the colouring community, me included. So the names are a little bit of fun, you know, they don't follow the same naming conventions as like Derwent or Prismacolors or Pos Polychromos because they're specific art brands that have been around for a long time and these are created with mental health awareness in mind and they're a bit of fun some of the names they remind me a bit of my Felissimo pencils that have some really cute names that just make me smile so all the first three sets of pencils come in a set of 24 in a tin that has a nice lid on it I've had mine for years and you know the tin does get a little bit dented and whatnot but it's still pretty good the skin tone light and dark come in a set of 12 and the monarch is the first one that is in a set of 48 with a cardboard cover on it now on the back of the monarch is the colors that are in the tin whereas on the skin pencils, they're on the front cover. And in the first three sets, the colors are on the inside lid. So there's a little bit of changing happening with the formatting of the box. The other little change is that the first three sets of pencils are slightly thinner then the last three sets so the monarch the skin tone light and the skin tone dark are slightly thicker than the black widows cobras and scorpions and it doesn't make any difference much because they're both very easy to hold in my opinion the packaging inside all of these is just a very thin uh, plastic it's actually very difficult sometimes to get the pencils out of this depending on which set I'm looking at. Sometimes they just don't come out very easily. So I'll be popping them all into a case, making it easier for me to find them. So that's it for the packaging component of these pencils. Let's go and have a look at them in more detail. Now you can see the Black Widow pencils, they're all in order, starting with the Black Widow, the Scorpion, the Cobra, the Monarch and the Skin Light and Skin Dark. Now they all have an end cap on them so that you can't see the actual core like a Prismacolor pencil. But you can see up against a Prismacolor that they're thinner 
and they've got a sort of hexagonal shape to them which I think makes it easier to get a grip on them. They're certainly very comfortable to hold but you can't see whether the core has been centered because they have an end cap on them. Now the first three sets the end cap is all black and it has foiled writing on it so the Black Widow has red writing with the Black Widow emblem there on the end and we've got a number and also a name so this one is actually the Black Widow colour as well as the set name and that's the same on all of the pencils except for the last three sets the Skin Dark, the Skin Light and the Monarch pencils are all now getting a end cap and a nice little bit of extra capping around the edge there but they all have a number as well as a colour allocated to them. Now the ones, the latest sets with the coloured end cap, the end cap is not the same colour as the pigment in the pencil. That process of end capping and matching the colour to the actual pencil is really difficult because the paint colours that are used for the capping is a different set of pigments or colours if you like than the actual pigment so it's pretty hard to match that up. Now you can see them up against a Prismacolor pencil. The Prismacolor is wider or thicker as is my Polychromo but they're roughly about the same size although the Black Widows are a tad longer. The problem is that because they've got the end cap you can't see whether they're centered well but honestly a lot of pencils have an end cap on them as well and usually it's not an issue with Prismacolors it often is because they're so soft that those centers can easily break. Now the Black Widow pencils are also wax based and I don't know whether you would classify them as student pencils or artist pencils. They do have light fast ratings and I'll pop them up on the screen here. And while we're talking about them, let's sharpen one up. So I've just got my trusty m &R sharpener here. I use this for most pencils. And if you want to see my recommendations for sharpening with the Black Widow pencils, I'll link to my sharpeners review below and if you want to see which paper works well with these pencils and which blender pencils work well uh, my links to those videos will be below but one quick turn now the point on this is a little bit rough it's a little bit jagged and in the box that I got with one set of pencils it even though they're pre-sharpened they weren't sharpened in the usual point form they were a little bit broken or damaged if you like but maybe that was a one-off just another quick turn of the sharpener has sharpened that pretty well I'm pretty happy with that I've had the two sets of Black Widow, the Cobra and the Scorpion, for a few years now and I've actually used them quite a bit and I've actually done about six or seven swatches with them and there's actually no difference really in the amount that I've used. I'm really impressed with how long lasting they are, uh, especially with just what I've done with them in the past. Now, they are soft and creamy like my Prismacolors, but they're actually a bit firmer, which I really like. And because they're wax-based, they've got that lovely softness to them as well. One of the things that I would mention about them is that because you have to buy so many sets, it might not work out financially viable because in the complete set, there's 144 pencils. And... Some of the pencils have black pencils and white pencils with them, but not all of the sets have that. And there's no neons, which you might not miss, and there's no metal coloured pencils at this stage, and you might not miss those as well. I never use mine, to be honest. But 
on their own, just one set might not be enough for you to work with and to get the types of range of colors that you want. So you might have to buy multiple sets and it might actually work out cheaper to buy a complete set of a different brand. So let's test it out in some coloring books and see how they go. So let's try a couple of pencils in a Create Space KDP coloring book and see how they perform on the paper. But they feel smooth on the paper. Kind of feel like they're disturbing the ink. So it could just be this book, but I feel like we're getting a bit of ink blotchiness coming here, which is surprising to me. These pencils do work very well, and although it could just be this book, because I have uh, used them on Create Space paper before, and they've been fine, so it could just be the book. And as usual, I'm colouring standing up, so <laughs> I'm only doing this very quickly. I don't need to use a blender here. They just blend smooth and easily. They're really uh, lovely soft pencils. I'm not getting any scratchiness here, but I am getting a discoloration of that printer ink. So I don't know why that is. Maybe it's just a one-off. But it really is smudging the ink on this book and really muddying it up. So that's a surprise. But from a distance you can't really tell. But in person it's a little bit muddy. Let's try it in a Japanese colouring book. This one is by Ari. It's going on the paper very smoothly. It's blending quite well, but I feel like I might have picked up some transfer of black ink from the previous book. So it does feel like it's smudging the ink, although it could just be me. I'm probably, it's probably me. <laughs> And this is just very rough colouring, but even with extremely rough colouring standing up, you can still see that it's blending together and going on well. And that's what it's all about. So, you know, even if you're sitting down, you're well ahead of the game on my comparison. So there we have it in the Japanese colouring book. Now I'll try it in Joanna Basford's colouring book, Secret Garden. You might have already seen this when I've previously used this page for testing blenders, etc. And I used all the brands of pencils, including Black Widows, but let's try it on another flower. And there's a good thing that there's so many flowers in this colouring book. So it's going on very smoothly. The pink is not quite as smooth as the orange, but I sometimes find that some colours feel a lot smoother than others. And you can press quite firm and get a lot of pigment out here. And from my experience, I've never seen any wax bloom or anything like that with the Black Widows. So I'm going a bit softer on that one, just so that you can see the difference. And you really can go very gently with the black window pencils if you want and still get a lot of pigment out. The other thing is the design of the barrel. I really do feel it makes it easier to color with because it's a bit thinner than say uh, the Prismacolor or the Polys. It feels a little bit more comfortable for my hands, at least, to hold. I know sometimes when I'm holding uh, some of my thicker pencils, 
my hand can get a bit sore, but I do have a pre-existing injury, so that could be it. But they blend extremely smoothly, and of course you can layer them up, but you don't really need to because you get quite a lot of pigment at first, but we can add some more. I'm just going over that again with a purple. The thing, though, with the Black Widow pencils is that I kind of feel that you need all the sets and layering just makes it so much better and can remember I'm standing up as well so I'm not going to get you know all the lines here but I kind of feel that you need all the sets just to get a complete range depending on what you like to colour of course but if you like to colour a variety of things I kind of think that you need them all and again going back to what I said earlier you might feel that you're better served just buying a set of other pencils uh, depending on what specials are about and whatnot but these are extremely comfortable to hold they're soft and creamy without being too soft and they've got a firmness to them which is really good and they also dispense a lot of pigment and you rarely need to use a blender pencil which is another bonus if you don't have a blender pencil they sharpen well they come pre-sharpened now the only issue is that they don't have open stock so if you want a replacement pencil you basically have to email the company because as yet there's no open stock for sale anywhere but other than the lack of open stock being available to purchase replacements and having to contact the company other than that they're really good pencils and having the light fast rating on some of those pencils is a bonus as well so let's see how they erase so i've got my tombow mono eraser and we'll just uh, come down the middle here now we are taking color off it is taking a few little goes but we're getting there and you can see that we've taken quite a bit off just in a few little goes if uh, I was sitting next to it I'd be a little bit more delicate and try and get out all those nooks and crannies let's try it on a Rees book so just still using my mono eraser we'll just take this bit off and it's actually coming off easier on this book than it was on Secret Garden and just a few little rubs and we've got one petal off and finally let's try on the Hannah Lean Create Space KDP Publishing Print on Demand coloring book so over here for the little fishies so which one we'll take the orange off I guess that's the darkest color and that's coming off very easy so if you change your mind and you make a mistake or you just want to add highlights it's pretty easy to get the color off you are still getting residual pigment below but erasing colored pencil completely is always difficult so there we go just after a few little erasers with my trusty tombow eraser so let's swatch the pencils starting with the black widow pencils and they are so soft and creamy going on. I'm just using Quill 125 gram paper here. And in this set of 24 pencils, we have a good range. We have some browns, we have some bright colours. We also have a white and a black, whereas not all sets include a white or black, so that's pretty handy. And we have some really nice vibrant colours in this set. So they look really good on. I'm using a couple of layers on one side and uh, less layers on the right hand side, just the way I normally swatch. Some lovely greens on here. They're really kind of vibrant. And I'm surprised at how little I've needed to sharpen these pencils. 
I've actually done this swatch quite a few times so I made some mistakes on earlier ones and had to redo it but yet I haven't sharpened the pencils so that is good now there's only two or three yellows in that one in that set and not many reds at all so for me I like the reds and the oranges and it's a little bit lacking but luckily there's lots of other sets so on the scorpion we have again a few yellows and a few different sorts of greens and a couple of blues and some purples no black or white in the scorpion set but some really nice colours here that really go down well and they really layer well and blend out well as well. They're really nice pencils and again I'm still surprised that even though I've swatched these pencils before this video a few times that I haven't needed to sharpen the pencils. And these swatch sheets are all available from the Black Widow site and on some of the swatch sheets from Black Widow they have the light fast ratings so some beautiful colours here I really like that delicious pink and I really like the red in it but I'd like a few more lighter browns okay let's swatch out the Cobras now this is the last set of 24 pencils that was released and again we've got some beautiful yellows there and a gorgeous red that's really lovely lots of yellows and oranges and pinks and reds in this set and a few really darker greens and darker purples as well as a few more dark greys as well so a nice range but the pinks are quite close in colour so I don't know, I think I'd prefer some more greens or blues. But I guess we all use different colours and there's you know usually some colours that we love going for and using quite a lot. But a lot of them are quite close in colour when you're looking at them, so having the whole sets I think is a good move because then you can get a far better variety of colour so the Monarch is the last set and at the time of filming Black Widow hadn't released a swatch chart or light fast ratings for this set so they might have by the time you're watching this video I think this has to be my favourite set there's 48 in the set there's quite a lot of pastels and they're really beautiful so some really different colors there and the pastels are just lovely there's a lot of grays in this set as well a lot of muted grays if you like that and I do also like the new pencil look with the colored end cap on it just makes it really easy to find the pencil when you're looking for them because you're just looking for a coloured cap rather than the black cap that was on the other ones and those purples are just lovely and those blues and blue greens but I think it's the pastels that really stole my heart on this set and especially if you like doing skin I think this set's a, the one that uh, has you know finally produced those lighter colours for skin and then of course there's the skin tone set so there's a dark tone tin and a light tone tin now these are in a set of 12 in each tin and they've got some colors in them that really made me kind of scratch my head because I'm not very good at coloring skin and I really only know how to color light skin and you know probably not that good either <laughs> and when I looked at these tones like carrot and 
some of the other colours that are in it, like the bright pink that's in it and the sunburst yellow, I just couldn't figure how I would use those in skin. But I do like them to go with the other sets and blend in. But again, I feel like I've got too many pinks for my liking, but each to their own. But then I was uh, looking at, I think, Monia Gates, and I was thinking about an old video that uh, Bennett Klein did and how he said, you know, skin should have all these different colours in it, like blues and whatnot. And so I could see how the wash purple would be used, like looking at Monia Gates's work on YouTube, she's she's a star, just so good. So I think if I watched a few more skin tone this, uh, YouTube tutorials, I might figure out what to do with some of those colours. So that's it from me. I hope you found the review useful and the swatches etc will all be on my blog if you want to have a look at them in detail. Until next time, stay safe and happy colouring.